then what is dy by dx can you guess okay i'll i'll call out a name and then you uh, then you tell me the answer uh ishan last last class matlab kuch nahi bol raha tha ishan aaj kuch bolega ishan नहीं ईशान इफ यू जस्ट सिटिंग यू नो इन फ्रंट ऑफ द स्क्रीन देन दैट रियली इज नॉट गोइंग टू हेल्प अस आउट बिकॉज दीज आर कॉन्सेप्ट विच are new okay naisa can you tell me can you see can you see a pattern can you spot a pattern and tell me what is dy by dx if y is equal to x power 4 so let it be 4x cube very good And if y is equal to x power five, then dy by dx will be equal to what? Uh, the d. The d. Yes, five x raised to four. Five x raised to the power four. आश्रेयस बता क्या बोलना चाह रहे चल ये वाला बता श्रेयस वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स पावर एन देन डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू सर इट शुड बी एन एक्स टू दावर एन माइनस वन वेरी गुड श्रेयस वेरी गुड एक्सिलेंट so i hope that everybody has spotted the pattern here the pattern is that if you have a uh if you have a uh, graph whose equation is y is equal to x raised to the power something okay and n is any any number right so n belongs to Uh, the real number set and and is any any number whatsoever can be positive it can be negative can be greater than 1 can be less than 1 anything can be a fraction any number okay if y is equal to x raised to the power n then you want to find the slope all you have to do is uh uh bring that power down bring that power down instead of having it upper multiply it and reduce the original power by 1 okay. so if y is equal to x raised to the power half then dy by dx will be equal to and this will be answered by this will be answered by sanskruti sanskruti yes sir uh, uh, the i think the answer will be half x raised to the power n by 2 half x raised to the power n n by n minus 1 by 2 2 minus 1 by 2 no 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 okay n remember is the number which appears here n is the number which appears in the power so the first step that you took is absolutely right you are supposed to multiply the thing by n lekin ab power mein kitna aayega sanskrit sir 1 by 2 nahi minus 1 by 
रिमेम्बर अगर y के वैल्यू रूट एक्स है तो उसका स्लोप होएगा वन ओवर टू रूट एक्स इफ y इज इक्वल टू एक्स रेस टू दावर थ्री बाई टू देन वेंकटेश वेंकटेश यस सर फाइव बाई डी एक्स विल बी हाउ मच सर Look at the number, bacha. Look at the number here. What are you supposed to do with this number? Exactly the same thing which has happened here. Three by two x raised to. Three by two x raised to. Now you have to carry out a subtraction. That's all. Sir, one upon two. Very good. So this will be three by two x raised to the power three by two minus one. Three by two minus one is one by two. Excellent. Yeah. Sir, sir, it should be one upon two to the power x. No, two root x. Yeah. Sir, so uh, like sir, half x to the power minus one upon two became one upon two root x. What will three upon two x to the power half become? अब बताओ एक्स पावर हाफ क्या होता है ये तो हमने पहली क्लास में डिस्कस किया था इट शुड बी वन अपॉन टू रूट एक्स आप पहली क्लास के नोट्स ना एक बार फिर से रिव्यू करना ठीक है ओके नाउ स्लोप्स ऑफ ट्रिगोनोमेट्रिक फंक्शन नाउ वी कैन डिराइव दिस राइट देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम इन डिराइविंग दिस However, I don't want to uh, go into that because one uh, time maths, me, your trigonometry will be able to do it. So you will be able to do it yourself very easily, right? So if y is equal to sine x, then dy by dx is equal to cosine x. If y is equal to cosine x then dy by dx is equal to minus sin x okay main isme ek ka derivation abhi aapko dikha dunga and you can attempt to derive the rest uh, but as uh, the people who have already derived know it is extremely lengthy <clears throat> and it never ever comes back to use again Okay, so if y is equal to tan x, then dy by dx is equal to. Tell me, boy. Tell me. Sex square. Sex square x tan x. Only sex square. Only sex square x. Sir, only sex square x. Sex square x. If y is equal to sec x then dy by dx sir tan squared x my yahan pe sec x tan x sec x tan x sec x into tan x if y is equal to cot x then minus cos x minus cos x क्या आएगा माइनस कोसेक्स कोसेक्स क्वेश्चन 
so you so you see what is happening all the uh, uh, all the guys who are uh, you know seeing this for the first time you see what is happening i don't remember i don't want to remember right but the people who have already seen this they remember and so will you okay so you need to remember this and uh, एक का मैं प्रूफ दिखा देता हूँ बाकी का प्रूफ सिमिलर है बट इट इज वेरी वेरी लेंथी सो वी वॉन्ट बी गोइंग इन टू दिस एंड वी गेट वाई इज इक्वल टू एक्स देन डी वाई बाई डी एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस माइनस कोजेक एक्स कॉट एक्स Minus cosec x multiplied by cotex. Okay, now it may seem very weird. कैसे आया कैसे आया? But I will show you proof of one. Okay, I'll show you proof of one. So finding the slope of y is equal to sin x. Now. y is equal to sin x में अगर हमें स्लोप निकालना है तो हमें कुछ चीजें पहले से पता होनी चाहिए राइट एंड हियर आई वुड लाइक टेक द अपॉर्चुनिटी जो आई थिंक जो लास्ट क्लास में आई वांटेड टू डू बट आई कुड नॉट डू सो फर्स्ट आई वांटेड टू टॉक अबाउट द एंगल ओके नाउ व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय एन एंगल so meaning of an angle measured in degrees so there was um, in, in, in the greek civilization uh there was uh so they, they were fascinated with geometry pythagoras uh, in fact in fact pythagoras was uh you know he, he was at that time he was thought of and at this time also he was thought of as a very great man <clears throat> he had his own academy he had, he had his own uh, you know school type of thing where uh people interested in uh, natural sciences at this time this time iit je to hota nahi tha na neat hota tha so they could not uh, you know they could not be as motivated as you guys <laughs> but uh, but uh they were they were extremely fascinated by uh geometrical things and, and they wanted to find out what is happening uh there is there is a book by uh, sir roger penrose if you have heard his name and uh uh the uh, the uh, book describes how uh, in the in the in the prologue of the book uh, it is described how the greeks uh, you know they 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 felt that everything uh, from sunrise to sunset from the motion of the stars uh, to local phenomena like uh, like uh, something like a volcano erupting everything was uh, explainable by uh, natural laws okay. so in their in their quest for uh, finding natural laws one person in that civilization uh described how to measure angles right and and this was really a breakthrough at that time uh, because uh once you once you are uh, once you are conversant in measuring degrees uh then the next step would be uh, you can learn navigation on the oceans right and at that point of time navigation was a very big thing because you had to get from one point 
to the other on an ocean us time gps to hota nahi tha ki google map ne dekh liya ha idhar chalna so the way that this guy uh, measured the angles was that he took a circle and he divided the circle into uh, equal parts right so this is a circle divided into four equal parts uh, this is a circle divided into eight equal parts and he kept on dividing the circle until he arrived at 360 equal parts okay now 360 is a very important or was a very important number at that time uh 360 degrees was important or 360 equal parts were important uh because uh the greeks knew uh that the earth takes uh 360 days to go around the sun right? they had worked this out uh in fact they had worked out the radius uh the radius of the earth as well right to a, to a very very satisfying degree of uh, accuracy and uh, if you ever want to know how how they worked out the radius of the earth uh, then uh, there is a program called cosmos uh, which is uh, which is a tv television series by by a very great physicist his name was carl sagan uh, right and uh, he uh, made this uh, i i think uh, one season or two i don't remember exactly but seven or eight episodes are there in one of the episodes he tells how these guys they figured out the radius of the earth in fact how they figured out that the earth is curved right very very simple uh, there was this brilliant guy he figured out that if you have a pillar Okay. if you have a pillar vertical pillar on the ground then on the same day okay on the same day uh one location on earth okay has a pillar which is having a shadow and another location on earth is having the same pillar everything is same uh, except for the fact that that pillar is located at a different location and that pillar is having no shadow whatsoever that means that for that pillar the sun is exactly overhead but for the other pillar the sun is somewhere here right and this will only happen if the surface of the earth is curved okay because sun ki position to wahi hai to agar surface of the earth curved hai to ye wale pillar ka uh, shadow zero ho jayega ye wale pillar ka shadow zero nahi hoega right this brilliant guy figured this out anyway uh, so they knew that uh, 360 uh, roughly uh, days is uh, there in a year and this was very important for them uh, there must be some natural significance in this number uh, therefore they divided the circle into 360 equal parts and once the circle was divided into 360 equal parts and they said that look this angle is 1 degree right after dividing circle into 360 equal parts of course after some time uh, it was found that this is insufficient uh because if you are traveling on the sea and uh, you sort of make a mistake of 1 degree then you may you know end up uh, a very large distance away from your intended uh, destination so what they did was they said that let's divide this into 60 equal parts okay let's divide this into 60 equal parts and then this particular angle will be called 1 minute okay is 1/60th of a degree and it turns out that this was also not sufficient uh, especially if you are looking at uh, uh, you are looking at uh, 
these stars you want to measure accurately how each star or how each planet is moving so what they did was that uh, they they divided this further into 60 equal parts right and this was called one second this is 1/60th of a minute right and of course this is the source of our uh, everything is interlinked so this is the source of our measurement of time right so we measure time in in, in minutes and seconds and so uh, uh, perhaps uh this came from the the source of this was a sundial because they did not have watches at that time they 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 they, they measured the time using the sundial anyways so this was this was the ingenuity of man around 5000 uh, years ago 4000 years ago but as you will appreciate uh you know that uh, this this is uh this is not scientifically very very accurate right it was it 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 was very accurate uh, all that time ago uh, but now it is not uh, not very accurate right so we need a more scientific definition of an angle right so uh scientific definition of an angle and what we do now is we say that look if we have a circle and if we take any two radii okay we take any two radii and we say that look this is the length of the arc okay and this is the angle theta and this is the radius of the circle this is the length of the arc l i will say then we define angle theta as the ratio of arc upon the radius okay okay so this is arc length upon the radius so this is how we define an angle this is the modern definition of an angle so the units of this is a radians so slowly and slowly uh, we are going to migrate from degrees to radians for the first couple of months of course it won't matter in fact physics mein uh, physics mein mai to mai mai shayad karunga bhi nahi but maths mein definitely uh, you will uh, migrate from uh, डिग्रीज जो अभी तक आज आज तक आपने पढ़ा है टू रेडियंस सो इफ आई हैव ए सर्कल एंड इफ आई टेक द टू रेडियाई एज दिस राइट देन आई नो दैट दिस एंगल इज 180 एट्टी डिग्रीज आई नो दिस राइट so we want to know what is 180 degrees in radians right now why am i why am i doing this why am i choosing 180 degrees well because <clears throat> for 180 degrees it's very easy for me to work out the arc length okay so the theta radians will be equal to arc length upon radius And arc length is equal to two by r by two. Sir, how much is the circumference? Sir, 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 s
Aisar circumference semicircle ka pi r hi hoga. Ha, pi r. This is the length of the arc. Okay, so the length of the arc is pi r divided by the radius r. So we get 180 degrees is equivalent to is equivalent to it's not equal to it's equivalent to pi radius okay 180 degrees is the same as pi radius therefore 90 degrees is the same as pi by 2 radius Okay, notice that I will maintain pi. Okay, I will not write down the value of pi. I will not say 22 by 7. I will not say 3.14. I will just write pi. So generally, although it is not necessary, but generally, if you see an angle given in terms of pi, that means that they are trying to tell you the angle in the radians. Okay. And... Uh, in fact, this is very confusing. So let me not use this. Let's use this. Right. So what, what do you think 45 degrees will be? Pi by 4. 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 And I will not write radians pura. I will just write RAD. In fact, in your calculator, there is a... There is a uh, yeah. Yes, sir. RAD symbol in scientific. B, E, G, RAD, and there is a third one as well. Third one we'll study later on. Gradients. So 60 degrees is equal to 45 by 3 radians. 30 degrees would mean 5 by 6. 360 degrees into 2 by 3. Right. So 306, this is a very neat way of saying, right? 360 degrees. Now we know that the circumference is 2 pi r. Right? Therefore, instead of saying 360 degrees, we'll say that we have uh, traversed an angle 2 pi radians. Okay. So this is this is uh, a very, very important. Uh, thing and it is given in the in the in the uh, in the uh, PDF wala jo, uh, notes up to be right. Everything is given. How to convert from degrees to radians and how to convert from radians to degrees. All you have to do is use unitary method, right? So here you can say that one degree is equivalent to pi divided by one eighty radians, and therefore x degree is equal to pi x divided by 180 radians. Or you can go the other way around uh, and you can say that one radian uh, is 180 divided by pi degrees and therefore uh, x radian is 180 x by pi degrees. Okay. I'll, I'll leave this for you. This is the simple conversion, uh, simple conversion, unitary method uh, from degrees to radians. Okay. So this is the scientific definition of an angle, and this is what we'll be using. And slowly and slowly, uh, we'll be going, uh, we'll be going. Uh, okay. Next, I want you to imagine. A right angle triangle, a right angle triangle with an angle theta where theta is very, very small. Okay, so let me name this, name the vertices of this right angle triangle as ABC. So if theta is very, very small, theta is extremely, extremely tiny. Uh, what can you tell me about the relationship between AB and AC? Almost equal. 
I hope everybody will agree with this, that if this angle is extremely small, I can try and draw it. I don't think I'll be able to, but if this angle is extremely small, I think I have done it. BC would be this. AB and AC would always be. BC would almost be equal to zero, right? The length BC would almost be equal to zero. And A and AB and AC would almost be equal, right? So this is the symbol for almost equal. This means approximately equal. Yeah, squig squiggly equal to means approximately equal. Right? Everybody agrees with this. If, if you have any sort of doubt or any sort of uh, you know, uh, cross question or any other question, just ask. So AB is almost equal to AC. So if AB is almost equal to AC, then we can consider the triangle, the triangle as an arc of a circle with radius AB or AC. See what I'm doing here? I am saying take a right angle triangle and I sort of the uh, triangle hai wo itna chota kar diya, wo itna small kar diya that uh, a, B and A, C, two sides of the right angle triangle, they are almost equal to each other. And if they are almost equal to each other, then I can really consider A, B, C as the, uh, as this. Yeah. I can consider A, B, C as this. The angle, of course, is extremely tiny, but the sector of a circle means that these two sides are equal, right? Two sides are equal. That is the meaning of, uh, of, a, of, a, of, a, of a sector. So here I'm saying that the behavior of a right angle triangle when one angle is extremely small is the same as uh, the arc of a circle. And if this is the case, right, and if this is the case, then angle theta can be written as what? Angle theta can be written as what? Angle theta can be written as arc upon radius. So what will be the arc in this case? And what will be the radius in this case? So BC would be the arc BC and BC radius is the AB or radius. So BC is the arc, right? Very small, but it is the arc. So now you can say, one minute, one minute, ye to sida line hai, to sida line hai, aur yahan pe to arc jo hota hai, wo curve hota hai, ye kya natak hai? But then we come back to the original argument, right? Come back to the original argument which I made, uh, I think, in uh, previous two classes or previous three classes, that everything uh, is made up of Statement. sort of an element, some sort of a building block. And we discussed that every curve has a building block which is a straight line. So a circle is indeed a collection of straight lines. So if I if I consider a very very small part of the circle, if I consider an extremely tiny part of the circle, then this uh, peri then the periphery of that then the arc of that will actually look like a straight line. So everything is as was. So BC upon either AB or I can choose AC. Right? I'll choose AB. And what is the definition of sine theta in this right angle triangle? What is the definition of sine theta in this right angle? BC by AB. BC by AB. BC by AB. It is equal to opposite over hypotenuse, right? So this gives me a very, very important result. And that is that if theta is extremely small, then sine theta 
is equal to k. Better way of writing this. Better way of writing this is that sine d theta. Remember our notation. D theta ka matlab hua smallest small change in theta. A theta. Smallest possible angle, right? And therefore, this should be equal to. So uh, can we assume theta to be approximately equal to zero? Nee, approximately ka kya matlab ho? I mean, what, what do you mean by this, right? We, we must be absolutely clear. So if we square it or cube it, then we can, I think, yeah. uh, approximately. D, d theta whole square, d theta whole cube, that will definitely be zero. Okay. But uh, d theta itself, is a number which is very close to zero, not exactly so. That is the crux, that is the gist, that is the heart of calculus, that we are dealing with numbers which are extremely small, okay? however, they are not zero, right? And where is this coming from? This is coming from the fact that everything in our universe is actually made up of small, teeny tiny building blocks. Right. So we are talking about one of those building blocks. So the example that I gave that when I'm drinking water, I don't think of, or I don't count the H2O molecules going into my mouth because I can't. But, but, but that is what is happening. Mansi, have you understood what you asked me the question? It's clear now, right? I hope. Very good, Mansi. I say, I, I, yeah, this, this is the kind of question that I want. Okay. So another thing before I, before I derive, uh, before I derive, uh, uh, before I derive this, is that the, the, there is a, there is a simple equation. There is a simple identity in, in, in trigonometry sine of a plus b is equal to sine A cosine B uh, plus sine B cosine A. Ye padha hai maths mein abhi? Maths mein abhi? Sir, abhi tak nahi hua. Nahi, sir, abhi nahi hua. So they will, uh, in, in, in maths, they will uh, prove this to you. I think I think I can prove it. Uh, uh, I think I can prove it. Uh, sir, produce with the radians part. Sir, the conversion, sir, I can take a screenshot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, if you have a picture with the buyer, you can see the website. Sir, you can see the website. Sir, So I think this is as uh, uh, as good as any, right? as good as anything. So uh, 
in this uh, in this in this weird kind of diagram i don't know whether you can understand this or not uh but as far as i understand it as far as i understand it we have sin a uh is equal to uh क्या सर एच बाई आर टू वन प्लस आर टू टू आई डोंट एक्चुअली नीड टू राइट डाउन साइन है ना दिस इज दिस इज हाँ दिस इज वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस आई थिंक दिस वेरी नाइस यस यस तो व्हाट दे आर सेइंग इज दैट लुक साइन ए प्लस बी ओके इन द इन इन द इन द राइट एंगल ट्रायंगल in the right angle triangle uh, let's call uh, let's call this uh, uh, alpha beta gamma okay i'm using greek letters because of pqr to me use nahi kar sakta ab use nahi kar sakta so sin a plus b is equal to opposite side upon the hypotenuse of the triangle alpha beta gamma right and then this means that uh, uh all i have to do is figure out uh, uh all i have to do is figure out h by r1 right that 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 should be proof enough okay. and then they say that look the value of uh h okay, now they are, they are trying to tell me the they are trying to figure out the value of h is equal to r1 cosine b plus r1 sin b divided by tan a into sin a ye thoda sa complicated ho gaya so r1 r1 sin r1 cosine b Here, okay, in this triangle, uh, alpha, beta, gamma, delta. Okay, this is the this is the third Greek, fourth Greek letter. Uh, so, in this right angle triangle, let me just rub this guy out. So, in the right angle triangle, alpha, beta, delta. we get a uh, cosine b is equal to uh, r21 divided by r1 so r21 is equal to r1 cosine b okay and are yeah they got right angle triangle i guess i'm running out of greek letters now uh, let's say that this is sir new ram da vagra push the push the dal dete new dal dete if if you guys don't know greek alphabets then uh, sir epsilon zero epsilon zero zarurat nahi zero zero to hum add karte hain epsilon hota hai sir अच्छा सर वैसे सो R21 is equal to R1 uh, cosine beta right now in the in the right angle triangle uh uh 
Sorry, now I don't have a clear idea. Don't you get your Sure. Let me let me do it maybe. So if we have a coordinate axis like this, and we say that look, this is angle A. Say that look, this is angle B. I'll be doing the same thing. Right? Let this side be one, two, three, four, five. So what I want to do is I want to get this guy at the same height. So if this is angle A, then I'll get it to the same height. And I'll say that look, this is four, this is five, this is a straight line. Okay, so from here, I think you should be able to figure out. Uh, so sine of cross a curve one idea. Sine of want to rub this out. So sine, so this is B. This is so sine of a plus b is equal to 2, 3 upon 1, 2. Okay. And sine of a is equal to uh, 4, 5 by 1, 4. 4, 5 by 1, 4. Cosine of A is equal to 1 5 by 1 1 5 by 1 4. Right. So I think I know what is happening now. If I were to drop a perpendicular here and label this point 6, uh, then Cosine, uh, sorry. Then sine B would be equal to 26 by 12. 26 on 1, 2. And cosine B 16 by 1. 16 on. And uh, if this is A, then this is also A. Okay. And you can say that, look, this sine A is also equal to, because this is, uh, because 2, 6 by 2, 4. 2, 6 by 2, 4, and cosine A is also equal to, 4, 6 by 2, 4. 4, 6 by Right. Now, let's see if we can prove this. Uh, so we want to prove that we want to prove that two three upon one two is equal to sine A, 4, 5 upon 1, 4, into cosine B, 1, 6 upon 1, 2, plus sine B, 2, 6 upon 1, 2, into cosine A, which is 1, 5 upon 1, 4. <sighs> this or we have an ulta kar diya. 
इन्हीं के साथ चलना पड़ेगा फोर फाइव अपॉन वन फोर वन सिक्स सर मैंने आपको एक पिक्चर भेजा है उसमें जो है पूरा प्रूफ है चल मैं कहां हूं बता रहा हूं ये ऐसे नहीं जा रहा था तूने मेरे को भेजा है क्या सर वो लिंक भेजा है सर उसको वो आ जाएगा ना पेस्ट करने अरे यहाँ पता ही नहीं चल रहा है पचास तो ग्रुप है पता नहीं चला गया तेरा मैसेज कहीं गायब हो गया सर जूम चैट पे भेजा अच्छा जूम चैट पे भेजा मैंने को लगा व्हाट्सएप पे भेजा ये क्या है अब ये तो और नहीं समझ में आ रहा है भाई इसमें इतना इतना कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है नहीं मालूम का आई थॉट इट वाज वेरी इजी सर पिक्चर में सर मेरे को वही वाला मिला पिक्चर में मुझे भी तो ये वाला मिला था रुको मैं प्रूव करके दिखा रहा हूँ लेट मी लेट मी प्रूव टू थ्री अपॉन वन टू है ना सर फिर एक साइट है सर उसपे भी दिया हुआ है वो भी जो ही यार इतना मुश्किल थोड़ी ना होना चाहिए सबसे पहली चीज मुझे दिखाई दे रही है दैट वन फोर वन फोर इज इक्वल टू वन सिक्स प्लस सिक्स फोर है ना एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू वन सिक्स फ्रॉम हियर इज इक्वल टू वन टू को साइन बी प्लस सिक्स फोर इज इक्वल टू टू फोर को साइन ए Okay, from from this guy. So from this guy, we get this solar relation. This guy, we get this solar relation. Okay. And then we say that look. Sine a plus b is two three. This upon one two. Okay, so I want two three in terms of two three and four five are equal. 
fifty and four five are equal. Four five कहाँ आया है? हाँ. So we get sine a plus b, which is equal to two three upon one two. Is equal to now two three. Is equal to four five. So four five. Right, two three is equal to four five. So four five from this guy okay, is equal to one four into sine a divided by one two. Right. So one two के लिए मैं क्या कर सकता हूँ? That I can take six ये रहा ना. So one six ये रहा. One six I have already figured out. So I can take from here. I can take one two to be sixteen divided by cosine one six. Sorry, not sixteen. So I get sine a plus b is equal to one fourth. Okay. So one fourth is equal to. वन टू को साइन बी प्लस टू फोर को साइन ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाई साइन ए मल्टीप्लाइड बाई को साइन बी होल्ड डिवाइडेड बाय वन सिक्स राइट नाउ लेट्स लुक एट व्हाट इज द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन वन सिक्स वन सिक्स What is one six? Thus, one six is equal to twelve cos b. No, so then, so here we have to replace it. We don't need to. Okay, so let's not replace. Let's not replace. Let's see if I can do it with one two only. I think I should be able to one two. No, only alone. That's not your problem. I have sent data back in it. It's small. No, I will do it tomorrow. You will do it tomorrow. One two. So this is equal to cosine b plus two four by one two cosine a. Right now, let's see if we have two four by one two somewhere. Two four era, one two era. Okay. So, what is the relationship between two four and one two? I think I should be able to figure this out. Uh, common side is two six. Okay. So, see what I'm doing. Uh, Sine b, okay, is equal to two six upon one two, and sine a is equal to two six upon two four, and I divide these two guys, so I get sine b upon sine a is equal to what? How much will it be? Twelve one two by two four, two four by one two. हाँ, थोड़ा सा careful रहना पड़ेगा. Two four by one two आएगा. And I have two four by one two here, so this should become cosine b plus two four by one two sine b upon sine a into cosine a. So this is equal to sine a cosine b. Plus sine b cosine a whole divided by sine sine a आ गया ये मैंने देखो मैं गड़बड़ किया हो गया I should have. I should have now yeah. 
सॉरी यहाँ पे वन फोर साइन ए है ना तो दिस दिस इज ऑल मल्टीप्लाइड बाय साइन ए राइट सो दिस इज दिस इज एवरीथिंग इज मल्टीप्लाइड बाय साइन अभी आया समझ में क्या हुआ है हाँ सर साइन ए दिस कैंसल्स आउट These two guys cancel. Sir, आपने वन फोर का क्या लिखा सर मेरे को नहीं समझ में आया Then you repeat this one. हाँ हाँ सब बता रहा हूँ मैंने since I have now finally figured this out. I did not know it was like this. देखो मैंने क्या किया. Please see. Uh, so what I did was that I said look sine a plus b. Sine a plus b is twenty three over twelve. Everything everybody agrees with this right? everybody yes sir. Okay. yes sir then what i did was that i said that look 2 3 is equal to 4 5 because ye height dono barabar hai right 2 3 is equal to 4 5 everybody agrees with this step yes sir so i said that if 2 3 equal to 4 5 then i can write Two three as four five and four five is equal to one four sine a. Is that okay with everyone? Yes. Sir, yes. But then we are assuming the answer, and then we are getting the proof from. Yeah, we are assuming what? No, I have assumed nothing. You have assumed the fourteen sine a by twelve. No, no, I have I have not assumed it. Sir, you have written fourteen sine as a dar and dash two by twelve. How? Let me explain, ha? Huh? Do you agree with the fact that sine a plus b is two three by one two? Yes, sir. Do you agree with the fact that two three is equal to four five? Yes, sir. And do you agree with the fact that four five is equal to one four sine a? Yes. Sir. So I have just replaced two three by one four sine a. क्या समझ मैंने क्या किया नहीं सर नहीं समझ आई कब बताएंगे ओके तो बाकी सब ने यस यस यू आर सेइंग बट यू आर फॉरगेटिंग द यू आर नॉट गेटिंग द लास्ट स्टेप देखो sin a plus b is 2 3 by 1 2 कैन आई राइट दिस एज़ 4 5 by 1 2 बोलो सर हाउ डिड यू गेट सर 2 3 by 1 2 अच्छा सर फ्रॉम दैट ट्रायंगल वी गॉट यस सर गॉट इट दैट गॉट दैट सर यस 2 3 1 2 4 5 1 इज दैट ओके यस एंड 4 5 इज इक्वल टू 1 4 sin a देयरफॉर 4 5 1 2 इज 1 4 sin a 1 2 यस ओके नाउ 1 4 इज इक्वल टू 1 6 6 4 यस सर And one six is equal to one two cosine b. One six is equal to one two into cosine b. Because cosine b is going to be how much? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So one six is equal to one two cosine b. Yes or no? Yes, sir. So I've written, I've written one six as one two cosine b. Yes. Yes, sir. And then we want to find the value of six four. So in this right angle triangle, uh, cosine a is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So. This means that the adjacent side must be equal to hypotenuse multiplied by cosine n. Is that okay? Yes, sir. So six four I have written two four cosine n. जो यहाँ पे अभी work out किया. Six four I have written two four cosine n. Is that okay? Yes, sir. So one four is equal to one two cosine b plus two four cosine a. We get six four four. ठीक है ना अभी? 
हेलो 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 यस 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 सर सो साइन ए प्लस बी नाउ आई कैन राइट एज इंस्टेड ऑफ वन फोर आई राइट वन टू को साइन बी प्लस टू फोर को साइन ए होल मल्टीप्लाइड बाय साइन ए डिवाइडेड बाय वन टू ये ये वन फोर का वैल्यू यहां पे सब्सटीट्यूट कर दिया ठीक है ना सर यस यस सर उसके बाद से वन टू से डिवाइड कर दिया तो इस इस वाले टर्म में वन टू वन टू तो कैंसिल आउट हो गया सेकंड वाले सेकंड वाले टर्म में टू फोर बाय वन टू बचा Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. And we have already calculated from uh, the two right angle triangles that's two four upon one two is sine b upon sine. ये तो हम already क्या everybody agrees with this. Yes, sir. Yes, 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 sir. बस वो मैंने उसको substitute कर दिया यार. अच्छा समझा. Oh, इतना लंबा था. एक बार. Yes, sir. Samjha. This is the first time that I have tried this proof. I, I never, never tried this before. Okay, so after that little detour, we come back, and we use this result, and we use this result to derive the differentiation of sine x, right? So the slope of y is equal to sin x uh, will be equal to will be sin of x plus dx minus sin x whole divided by dx right that's our standard formula now sin of x plus dx i can put here so i can put this as x and i can put this as dx So I will get sine x cosine dx minus uh, sorry plus plus sine dx cosine x minus sine x whole divided by dx. Right? Here, I have missed one thing, which which is which should be very very obvious now. I hope. Uh, And that cos. Ah, that cos d theta will be equal to a c upon a b, which is equal to one, right? Because we have assumed that uh, we have assumed that a b and a c are almost equal to each other, right? And also, if you want to do further proofs. बाकी बाकी टर्म के अगर आप प्रूफ करना चाहो विच आई विच आई स्ट्रॉन्गली सजेस्ट यू शुड देन देयर इज वन मोर रिलेशन दैट आई कैन राइट डाउन फॉर यू हियर tan θ इक्वल टू θ यस tan d θ विल बी इक्वल टू आल्सो d θ राइट व्हाई इज दैट यू मस्ट बी एब्सोल्युटली क्लियर बिकॉज़ tan d θ वुड बी इक्वल टू bc अपॉन ac एंड bc अपॉन ac इज अगेन bc अपॉन ab सो so uh they are all equal right so if an angle is very very small if an angle is very very small then you need to remember that i'll write it down here theta is very very small then this would mean that sin d theta is equal to d theta cosin d theta is equal to 1 and tan d theta is equal to d theta. okay so coming back to this we get sin x multiplied by 1 plus sin dx into cosin x minus sin x divided by dx sin x and sin x cancel out so i get sin dx upon dx into cosin x but we have already proved that sin dx will be equal to dx itself therefore this and this cancel out 
and we get the cosine x. Right? So if y is equal to sine x, then dy by dx is equal to cosine. Okay, and you can prove it for other uh, trigonometric uh, equations as well, other trigonometric functions as well. थोड़ा आपको research करना पड़ेगा कि cosine a plus b क्या होता है, tan a plus b क्या होता है. Right? Then you can do that. But I will not be going. I will not be uh, going further than this. Okay. यहाँ तक यहाँ तक हमें मिला table. और अब मैं ये ब्रैकेट यहाँ पे क्लोज कर दू दिस वॉज द डेरिवेशन ऑफ द थिंग ओके नेक्स्ट इफ वाई इज इक्वल टू साइन ऑफ ए एक्स प्लस बी नाउ वेन एवर आई यूज स्मॉल ए एंड बी राइट दे विल बी नंबर constants right so a and b are just numbers or constants then dy by dx will be equal to a cosine ax plus b please notice that there are two a's now okay and don't think that this is this is not possible ye aisa kaise hai ki wo bahar bhi aa gaya aur wo andar bhi hai it is not something that i have taken out of a bracket okay it is not like that it is a completely different mathematical operation so whatever is the coefficient of x in the term of sin will come out okay so this also you have to remember or there is some pattern ha ye sab yaad rakhna ye sab yaad rakhna and, and you don't have to like wo class 10th wala remember nahi hai where you know you are copy like okay, you are trying to remember what you do is you have these results in front of you okay maybe you write it down on a piece of paper and you stick it in front of your study table right and whenever you need you just look up and you see and you do it right so after you have done 10 or 20 questions on this uh, automatically you will remember sir but this is not working for uh, y equal to sin x plus dx Yeah. Sir, when we are trying to find the slope, sir, we have we had gotten before cos x, right? But uh, here it will give us cos x plus dx. इसकी बात कर रहा है. Sir, जो आपने formula दिया ना, sir, उसमें अगर हम लोग a equal to one और b equal to dx रखे, तो मैं इसमें cos सर जो formula है. B number है, उसको dx थोड़े ना लग सकते हैं. B number है ना? B को आप लिखोगे एक, दो, तीन, पाई. I don't know, point six, point seven, something like that. You will not put it as dx. Okay. This will become two cosine two x plus three. If y is equal to cosine a x plus b, then dy by dx is equal to minus a sine a x plus b. Okay, and similarly for all the others, I will write it down. Y is equal to tan of a x plus b. Please notice that b does not play any role. Dy by dx is equal to a sec. A sec squared. Sec squared a x plus b. Ah, right. And uh, if y is equal to uh, sec of a x plus b. Then divide by a a sec of a x plus b into tan of a x plus b. Right. So, the bracket में जो quantity है that remains the same. Only thing is that you get a number as a multiplier, which is the coefficient of x. So, if y is equal to cot a x plus b, then dy by dx is equal to minus a cos x square x plus b and finally if y is equal to cos x a x plus b then dy by dx 
नेगेटिव ए माइनस ए कोस ए एक्स प्लस बी एंड देन कॉट ए एक्स प्लस बी dy by dx is equal to e raised to the power so e is called the napier's constant and it is a number okay it is a number it is a constant just like pi it is an irrational number just like pi so Pi is equal to three point one four dot 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 dot. E is equal to two point seven four dot dot. Why does this number occur? Why does pi occur? Right. These are questions we will ask ourselves later on, and I will try to give you answers on this. But for the moment, uh, e is a number, and e raised to the power x is called. an exponential function exponential function and the uniqueness of this exponential function is that the value of slope of the expo exponential function is equal to the exponential function itself so this is the only function for which the value of dy by dx is the same as the function itself baki sab mein change ho jata hai ab dekho cot ka cosec square ho gaya cosec ka cosec cot ho gaya sec ka sec tan ho gaya jo humne shuru mein kiya tha x square ka 2x ho gaya x cube ka 3x square ho gaya to jab hum slope nikalte hain to original function obviously change ho jata hai lekin exponential function mein change nahi hota it is very weird and another is that if y is equal to ln x then dy by dx is equal to 1 over x okay so ln x is called nash log it it is called a logarithmic a logarithmic function right now it does not matter whether you know this or not it does not matter बिकॉज आपको मैथ्स में पढ़ाया जाएगा एंड आई विल फॉर द पर्पसेस ऑफ कैलकुलस ओनली टॉक अबाउट द फैक्ट दैट अगर आपके सामने एक फंक्शन आया एल एन एक्स और आपको बोला गया इसका स्लोप निकालिए इसका स्लोप होएगा वन ओवर एक्स देन यू कैन ट्राई एंड प्रूव ईच एंड एवरी थिंग ऑन दिस पेज दैट वी है If you get stuck, WhatsApp me, WhatsApp message me. But you know, who cares? How many are groups are there? Message gone. Who cares? One more, one more. Then reminder will have to be sent. Okay. So this is the standard table of results. Okay. This is, uh, this is what I want you to have at your fingertips. But like I said. not by learning by rote okay please write this out on a piece of paper everything that i have uh, all the results if this is this then dy by dx is this write this out on a piece of paper and stick it somewhere in front of you or keep it somewhere in front of you uh, in the next class so that i will show you how to use the standard table of results uh, to carry out various uh, calculations ठीक है आई विल स्टॉप हियर यस सर यस सर सर टेबल शो दैट ए टेबल वंस हां जो हमने ए वाला टेबल बनाया था ए एक्स प्लस बी वाला हां सारा भेज रहा हूं ना मैं अभी भेज दे रहा हूं अभी ग्रुप पे डाल दे रहा हूं ओके विद इन 5 मिनट्स आई विल पुट दिस ऑन द
ठीक है इसके बाद क्लास है ना सर 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 स